Have you ever wondered how much time you spend queuing at the supermarket? According to research, an average shopper in the UK spend about 1,500 minutes every year. Given that we live in a fast-moving society, isn't that a lot of time wasted? Now, in this day and age, I don't think there is a need to spend so much time queuing up, and this time can be reduced. Hi, my name is Carmen, and I'll tell you how. Essentially, the most time-consuming part at the checkout counter is unloading items from the trolley, for the cashier to scan them and put them back into the shopping bags. But, what if a shopping trolley has the capability to record item prices and sums up the bill even before shoppers approach the checkout counter? No doubt, the shoppers' experience will be lifted because they no longer have to spend a lot of time queuing up but rather preparing the exact amount to pay at the counter. Or even, they can be given an option to pay online. Other functions such as in-store navigation can also be added in. This is to help shoppers to locate items they need when they select our in-store recipe. The smart trolley concept is not impossible. In fact, many research has been conducted and Fujitsu have reviewed a similar concept back in 2005 in Australia. However, with every new development, there is risk. As we live in the world of growing technology, the greatest challenge is keeping up with the rapid changes. The technology we adopt today might not be as good as what is available tomorrow. Nonetheless, as of today, this concept can be implemented using the RFID technology. RFID has the capability to identify people or objects automatically using radio waves. As technical as it may sound, RFID is actually very similar to the barcode concept which we are all very familiar with. The difference is RFID chips does not need to be positioned precisely to the scanner, hence making the process of scanning easier and faster. The only drawback for RFID is that it has difficulties in reading metal items and exposed to the risk of data theft if chips are not removed from item purchase. Nonetheless, RFID is widely used in the retail industry for inventory management to prevent shoplifting and internal theft as well as to avoid administrative error. Major brands such as Walmart, Burberry and Inditex have used the RFID technology mainly for inventory management. Walmart is one of the earliest brands to implement this and has resulted 16% reduction in our stock. For Burberry, they have took one step further by storing product information in the chips, which enable customers to view bespoke content while holding the items they like in front of the in-store display screen. Inditex, who is the holding company of Zara, on the other hand, has leveraged on this technology to do inventory check every six weeks, which in return um, allowed them to have better grip on popular fashion and style, and ultimately giving the brand a competitive edge. The smart trolley is a fantastic idea. Now, to have this trolley in our stores, hardware-wise, we will need the RFID chips, RFID reader, and display screen. We will also need to upgrade our server for data storing. For software, we will need to acquire a new POS system that have the capability for online checkout as well as in-store navigation. To allow this, our stores must be fully equipped with Wi-Fi connection. Besides, an intranet must also be built to ensure data and information can easily be accessed internally. Once this is implemented, there will be no more hassle for shoppers to check out. However, given that the suppliers have yet to utilize this technology, this will only be launched with one store first. The tagging of RFID chips on all products will be done manually. This implementation will certainly change the organizational business processes and the relationship with suppliers and consumers. Production-wise, the company can now have more frequent inventory check to have better idea what are the fast-moving products and replenish the shelves faster. The finance and accounts team no longer have to worry on inventory accuracy issues, whereas the human resources side we will see reduction of manpower as the system is now automated. Our sales and marketing team can also use the collected data to create personalized promotion for our shoppers, which in return provide greater values and saving for all our shoppers and ultimately increasing the sales number in our stores. And of all, 
the disputes in order and delivery can also be reduced. Presented here is the estimated cost and benefits if the project is rolled out for 10 straws. A handout is on your table if you need more details. The payback period is 2.75 years with net present value of 1.77 million. The internal rate of return is at 28% with a profitability index of 1.59. This project is worth investing given the short payback period, high internal rate of return and profitability index. Nonetheless, I have also taken precaution steps and come up with another three possible scenarios. From the scenarios, it is still a profitable project even with higher discount rates. However, if the relevant cost changes, the payback period increases and the internal rate of return and profitability index reduces. Hence, it is important for us to source for vendors who can offer competitive prices alongside with reliable services. In conclusion, the Smart Trolley implementation is possible using the RFID technology. The success of this implementation will certainly benefit the shoppers as they no longer have to queue to pay for their groceries. Besides, it will also improve the business process such as ensuring accuracy of inventory and replenishing the shelves faster. A deeper understanding on the shoppers will also be established, hence giving the competitive edge to the business to serve customer better. Nonetheless, this is surely a project that worth investing due to its high internal rate of return and profitability index. And this concludes my presentation. Thank you for your time.